I'm Evan Carmichael. Welcome to another biz tool video where I highlight some of the favorite business tools that I use to run my company. So I'm here on my page, which talks about my favorite tools. I'm going to do a quick video today on a tool called Gminder. So let me just go find it. There's Gminder. And Gminder is useful if you're making the switch from Outlook to Gmail. I love the Outlook calendar and had so much built in there and kind of ran my business. So the Gmail calendar I didn't find as useful, especially the reminders. And this little desktop tool is available for PC, maybe for Mac too, I don't know. But uh, it basically allows you to have your reminders pop up on your desktop just like they would in Outlook. So without this, I probably would not have been able to move over to Gmail and it's too bad Gmail doesn't have a version like this. The, the biggest challenge I had with Gmail was when a reminder came up, you always had to be online to see it. So if you turn off your computer, you went away and then you came back uh, and there was a past appointment that came up that you didn't click off, you wouldn't see it. So I use my calendar a lot to record tasks. So it could be, you know, follow up with you know, John about you know, whatever project we're working on and that task might stay there for a couple days if I haven't gotten it done yet. So it reminds me that I still have to do it. With Google Calendar and how it works, as soon as you turn off your computer or go away, uh, it's gone. So you, there's a whole bunch of tasks that you may have missed that you haven't done unless you maybe email it to yourself. So for Gminder, I'll just drag it into the screen so you can see what it looks like. You have something like this that pops up and this will keep track of all the information that you have for the day and what's coming up. So for me, I can see that uh, it's close to 5.45, so I've got a reminder here that tells me that I need to post to my Facebook and Twitter forums and Google+. So that's helpful, and that'll stay there until I either dismiss it or close it. Well, basically dismiss it, so I could snooze it or I could dismiss it. Now, I haven't gotten it done yet, so I won't dismiss it, because otherwise I'll forget that I have to do it. Um, so this is great. So if I if I turn off my computer and I come back tomorrow morning, I haven't gotten that done. I'll still see that that's there for me to do, and then I'll see my new stuff as well. Just like the way the reminder system works in Outlook. So it's an awesome tool. It's free. Uh, I have the link here on my site. I'll just push that away. Um, so you know, definitely go check it out. There's a link here. You can load it up and you can see what it looks like. So you just download it pretty quick you can also set different days so for me I only have it set for the one day but you can also say if you want to see your schedule for the next few days up to you how many days you want to add in you could do it you can quickly add tasks in there you can do a preview of what's coming up you can select your different calendars if you have multiple calendars which ones you want to have so I use this for at the office for office stuff and then I have another one at home for my home stuff there's different uh, options here, so you can pick the color you want things to come up. You can pick how quickly the reminder. I think the default with Outlook is 15 minutes, so that's the default here. But you can, you know, have it change if you want. So the way it'll work is you'll see that that pop up 15 minutes before, and then it'll pop up again at that time. So you can remind yourself. You can play a sound if you want. So lots of lots of cool options, and uh, and it's free. So no better price tag for an entrepreneur than free. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'd definitely go check it out if you're a Gmail user. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up below. I love seeing the thumbs up. That always makes my day. And if you have any thoughts or questions, uh, you can also just leave a comment on the video. I'd be happy to answer them. So, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next episode.